Hi everybody, this is Terry the Unigeezer and welcome to my first coker tutorial. And this video is going to be geared, excuse the pun, toward those just kind of getting started riding the big wheel. Or maybe you're having some difficulty doing free mounting, we'll get into that. And, uh, or those thinking about buying a 36er for the first time. There's actually some pretty good choices out there. The Coker Tire Company has two of them currently out. This is called the big one right here with the aluminum frame. Then they have the V2, which we have affectionately nicknamed the Squid for obvious reasons. And here's yet another make and model called the QX. And then there's the Nimbus, which also has a very interesting and cool frame design. Now the first three have 48 spokes. The last one, that Nimbus, has 36. But they all have double-walled aluminum rims, which are lightweight and strong. So you got some really good choices out there. This one is my UDC made, unicycle.com made radial. And it also has a double-walled, what we call airfoil rim. Basic frame design. And uh, the TA tire, really fun to ride. And the Coker touring handle, which comes in handy for long distances. And I've uh, modified the Fusion Freeride seat a little bit to make it more comfortable, and I even did a tutorial on that a while back. So 36ers are very versatile. You can do lots of stuff on them, and I love riding along the beach for miles and miles. And uh, I've even taken it off-road in what we call Coker Muni. This is lots of fun. And if you're up for the challenge, you can try even more crazy stuff, like maybe doing gaps and drops, hopping up stairs. I did 36 right here. Or some rather unusual mounts like the suicide mount and the kick-up mount. Exceedingly difficult because of the weight and the mass of the wheel. But today we're going to be going over basic mounting techniques for the 36er, step by step and in depth, and I hope it helps. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with the standard static mount. As you can see, my right foot is my dominant foot, but if yours is the left, just reverse it. Notice you're going to be pushing yourself up on the unicycle with the foot that's on the ground, not pushing down on the foot that's on the pedal. Notice I'm going to be lifting myself up over the unicycle with my left foot. If I tried to do it with my right, I'd be moving the wheel back and forth, and you don't want that. So push yourself up to the center of gravity, and you're off and pedaling. Now let's look at it from the other side. My left foot is going to be lifting me up onto the unicycle, just like that and another look at it. I'm trying to have as little rollback as possible. Let's take a look at the rolling mount. I like to have my cranks and pedals in the same plane so that when you get into mounting position they'll be nice and flat. Okay, you only really need to pull it back about one quarter rev because the mass and weight of the wheel will pull you right up on top of the uni. There you go, about a quarter rev and you're on. Now from the other side, you're going to pull it back until the pedals are parallel this time. And less than a half a rev and you're up on the uni. It might help to have the tire inflated just a little bit less than normal when you're learning and the seat a little bit lower than normal. So pedal straight up and down, pull it back a quarter rev, and you're on and running with the rolling mount. Here's another look at the rolling mount in slow-mo. Notice the wheel doesn't have to roll very much to get you up onto it fun mount. Now here's one of my favorite mounts. This is the jump mount. You'll notice the wheel is going to stay stationary as you mount it with no movement whatsoever until you mount. Here's another look at it in slow-mo. You're just up and going. It's a very efficient mount. It's a little scary at first but it's really worth learning. Here's another look at the static mount in slow-mo. All right we're gonna wrap it up with a little 36er hop twist. And I hope that my coker tutorial has helped you in some small way. Really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. This is Terry the Unigeezer saying, see you later.